I have been pastoring for many years now, and my staff, they love me. They look to me for guidance. I mean, I'm not bragging. I, I'm just a humble servant of the Lord. I declare team meeting in the conference room. Five minutes. The team loves meetings. They can't wait for them. I hate these meetings. Everyone hates them. They're a complete waste of time. All right, it's meeting time. Let's get it going here, guys. All right. Hey, excited about it? Okay, yeah. Yeah, great, great, great attitude. Way to go, guys. All right, let's get started. And I want to hear the questions you have that you're hearing from people, what they need to know, what I can tell them to help them. I, I just heard of somebody who lost their job a year ago, and they're getting ready to get foreclosed on their house, and they were just told they need to have faith. I mean, that is an easy one. Faith does fix everything. You just tell them whatever they're going through, they need to have faith. Clearly, they have problems because they don't have faith. Simple answer, slam dunk it, let's move on. Seriously. Well, I know a lot of people have questions about heaven and hell and where people go when they die. Um, but... Narcolepsy. But how, how good do you have to be to get to heaven? I mean, what about the... What about, what about the rest of us? Excuse me, Peter. Can the assistant righteous reverend take this one? No, no. Assistant to the righteous reverend. This one requires some skill. Now, here's what I do. When there's a funeral and someone comes to me, the people that are alive, that is, not the one that's died. When they come to me, what I do is I want them to feel okay. They worry. Are they in heaven? And you know what I tell them? Yes. If I'm wrong, it doesn't matter. I mean, people don't need to worry about that. Heaven is in Hell is out. You can't even say hell anymore. You can say hello, though, because it's hell equals zero. And that's what we believe. All right. The team, they come to me with questions. It, it's kind of like I'm a super pastor. If you had Bill Hybels and Billy Graham and Ralph Batum and you rolled them into one pastor, you'd have me. They come to me and I give them solid wisdom that they're looking for. Oh, Peter knows everything. He's so wise. He's so smart. If I have a question, I'll just ask Peter. He'll tell me if I have a problem. Peter can solve it. He's just so wonderful. False. Peter doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't even know the scriptures. I'm the assistant to the Reverend Peter. Now here's the thing, I have lots of friends who have questions and are confused about many things. Some, they are godly parents and they expect that they will then have godly children. Like it's automatic, like a guarantee. Others think that dipping themselves in water will guarantee they go to heaven. Many people are confused. I keep running into people who have a hard time forgiving and forgetting. They hear that God forgives and forgets, and they have a hard time doing that too. It's an easy answer. It is not hard to forget. Look at it this way. I forget where I put my keys. I don't know where to find them. All I have to do is I take the pain and I set it right by the keys. Simple. I won't find either. I mean, that is good advice. Treat your pain like your keys. <laughs> Sometimes I amaze myself. You know, I. I hear they're difficult questions, they're hard for people to answer, they require deep biblical thought. Like, they throw these hardballs at me and I just knock them out of the park. I just amaze myself. I mean, I give good answers with a few simple words. Did he tell you he has simple answers? Don't believe him. We need to offer truth to all who struggle with these deep questions. That's why we're talking about dumb things that Christians believe. Each week we'll respond to a different belief that often creates confusion, judgment, anger, and hurt in those around us. I think many of us have difficulty with these questions. Many of us have believed some of the things the righteous Reverend Peter has told us. But in fact, we need to find biblical answers to these questions. So join us for this whole series and invite a friend or you'll be left thinking like me, Pastor Pete. Nice to meet me. Mm -hmm.